What blows the DPRK sinking the U.S. aircraft carrier? North Korea recently announced that it was ready to sink the U.S. nuclear carrier with a single blow, but how could Pyongyang specify it? In the context of USS Carl Vinson's upcoming USS Carl Vinson operation, Pyongyang has made one of the toughest claims ever. The Korean army is ready to sink the U.S. nuclear-powered aircraft with just one blow, said Rodong Sinman, the Labour's official newspaper. Is a good example of us showing off our strength, Korean rights wrote. But is there any way for North Korea to concretize this statement? The sinking of the U.S. nuclear-powered aircraft is over 300 meters long, and the 100,000-ton displacement is unprecedented in history. According to Robert Faley, a senior lecturer at the Patterson School of Foreign and International Affairs, University of Kentucky, the most important issue for sinking the aircraft carrier is the link between the reconnaissance and weapons systems, gas, submarines, floating ships. Aircraft cannot fire if the enemy carrier is unknown. Even supersonic cruise missiles take 20 minutes to hit the target of the longest distance. At the same time, the U.S. nuclear aircraft carrier was able to travel a further 16 kilometers. It took the United States over 30 years to develop and commission a real-time, real-time system of surveillance, ensuring that warships, planes and submarines could fire weapons on targets. Up to now, no other country has comparable capabilities, even to Russia and China, not to Korea, said expert Robert Farley. When it is impossible to destroy a remote mobile target, North Korea is forced to resort to a close-range approach that creates a large risk that is unlikely to succeed. MiG-29 fighter rational interest led the Pentagon's report to the U.S. Congress in 2015, saying that the North Korean Air Force and KAF owns more than 1,300 aircraft, of which about 563 are combat aircraft. However, most of these aircraft are outdated, only capable of protecting the airspace. Most notable among modern North Korean machines is the fleet of about 35 Mikoyan MiG-29 fighters. This is the fighter that plays a major role in destroying aerial targets. North Korea could improve the MiG-29 version to carry ground assault weapons with Russian support. The MiG-29 has a relatively short operational range, with a maximum range of about 1,400 km and an increase of 2,100 km if carried by an auxiliary fuel tank. Meanwhile, the F-A-18E F Super Hornet fighter operating on the U.S. aircraft carrier has a combat radius of 722 km, with a maximum range of 2,300 km. These fighters had enough time to fight before the Korean Air Force squadron was able to force the American carrier. In addition, the fighter also faces the Aegis air defense system of American destroyers escort carriers. The nuclear missile defense near missile range, such as the RIM-7C Sparrow missile, has a range of 50 km. Three to four gunships, near the phalanx 20 mm. Therefore, Korean fighter jets are almost unlikely to force them to land missiles or large bombs on U.S. aircraft carriers. Although the Korean Navy owns the world's largest fleet of submarines, the actual combat capability of the force is very low. The most notable of these is the diesel-electric submarine, Type 033 produced by China. The Korean Navy owns about 20 Type 33s, designed in World War II era. The ship has a 1,830T displacement, 76.7 meters wide, 6.7 meters wide. The vessel is equipped with two 2.94 megawatts diesel engines and two two-stroke electric motors, for a maximum speed of 15.2 knots per hour on the float and 13 knots on the dive, 14.484 kilometers range. 54 crew members including 10 officers. 
The 33's Type 033 equipped torpedo has 533 mm, six forward and two rear torpedoes, radar and sonar sensors, and MRP 11 to 14 electronic warfare. In 2010, a South Korean submarine allegedly penetrated South Korea's sea, torpedoing the Cheonan warship, killing 46 sailors. However, the possibility of North Korean obsolete submarines stalking, launching and launching large torpedoes at U.S. carriers is very unlikely. At a maximum speed of 56 km per hour, the USS Carl Vinson nuclear aircraft carrier is even easier to tailor many of today's modern submarines. Anti-ship missile fleet Rodong Sinman said Pyongyang in 2015 tested a new modern anti-ship missile, identical to the Russian version of KH-35, with a weight of 145 kilograms. The KH-35 is thought to be capable of sinking a 5,000-feet towboat with one shot. The KH-35 complex can be installed on North Korea's high-speed missile ships. However, the possibility of success is very low because the U.S. carrier warfare team has very strong defenses. A KH-35 missile was not enough to sink.